Hello, this is me, Ali Reza. I'm a Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Bing Ads certified advertising professional as well as an owner of a Google partner company and SEO expert. So today I'm here with another GMC Google Merchant Center restoration case study. The account was in initially suspected for misrepresentation. So let's get started with this detailed case study. So here are the initial images which we got. You can see the account, chosen jewelry was an account, and you can see that. Uh, we got a mystery presentation error and it was being on uh, 10 January. They had around uh, 300 products being listed on their website. Uh, they said that uh, uh, you need to follow, provide transparency about your business identity, business model policies and how your customers can interact with you, promote your online reputation by showing reviews or highlighting any badges or seals of approval. Use a professional design for your online shop that includes an SSS certificate, which I think is very common. I, I have never seen, you know, as any case where people nowadays do not have any SSL certificate. Uh, provide information and business information settings in your merchant center, follow SEO guidelines, improve your eligibility for seller ratings and match your product data in your merchant center with your online shop. So this was an original uh, you know, error and they said that uh, you can request a new review on 24 January. No the review can be requested until the cool down period has been passed and you know they are, during this tenure during this time frame they you know they personally tried a lot of stuff so you know and they were eventually failed uh, that is how the case came to us and you know it is another page over here and you can see that again this was another page as well that uh, your product needs attention and uh, uh, fix all setup uh, and policy issues that prevent your uh, products from showing on google so this was the case and now I'm going to show you the website as well, so you guys can see, uh, you know, uh, the website. So this is their website, usermidjewelry.com. And you know, if you ask me, their uh, billing country is UK and their targeting country is US. Uh, so in case if people are asking that you can uh, promote uh, products from different country to different country, yes, it's fairly possible. You can see this case over here as well. So now in this case, you can see, you know. Uh, everything is almost being shown they provide jewelry you know we did a, a detailed audit we have a 170 steps you know when we started out we had a 44 steps checklist and then you know we also did google ads compromise cases google ads suspension cases and we keep on learning new things new things new things and now you know we are at 170 steps checklist can you imagine 170 steps checklist have been you know grown up after doing various various case studies so you know after doing an audit we find few things in their you know website i'm gonna show you as well so, you know, we did few tests as well. We did a contact verification test uh, for social media. You know, we didn't find anything over there. We did a contact page audit as well. We check email addresses. We check the placeholders. Now the placeholder issue has been very now common it is. And we have seen cases even in Google ad suspension uh, that the placeholder can impact sometimes. It's a coding error, it's a coding issue. And sometimes some there are some plugins on your website which have uh, this uh, placeholder which is causing suspension as well uh, page speed is a good uh, add-on recommendation always not necessary uh, but you know it's a good add-on like gmb google business profile is a good add-on not necessary but it is always a good sign you know if you add on also we believe that a communication is also plays a very huge role and uh, with the google team you know uh, while we were doing an audit one of our staff was doing audit one of our staff was in constant in touch with google team regarding uh, the suspension of the account and was explaining to them that how it is causing them a huge loss in their business and how you know the business works on legit business model and everything over there with them so newsletter was also working you know location also you know the thing is that we also verify the location if you uh, enter some address on your website you also try to physically check that location using google earth google map so that to see possibly that in case if that is causing an issue we also look for some uh, 404 pages. We also, you know, look at the order tracking page. Was it working fine or not? Because, you know, sometimes that can cause an issue as well. And when, when you know, that when we were doing it, also the thing is that like robots.txt is also can be an issue as well. Uh, also, you know, if we try to add on product list, you know, uh, if the payment methods are being mentioned over here are not actually presentable or not you we need to have a unique privacy shipping policy you know sometimes google in fact you know uh, so suspend your account in case if your uh, privacy policy is not unique or if just a copy paste and uh, if you have mentioned you know the shipping dates and delivery are matching with your google merchant uh, sender profile or not that is also very important also the business listings you have like shown about your business address 
uh, at this location is being mentioned in your business information page like over here or not so that is you know also you know few things that we have to check on gmc side and we have to check on the website as well to uh, do a detail audit after this like your privacy policy we also carefully reviewed because sometimes what people do is just they, they do a copy paste uh, first of all google is looking for a unique privacy policy also you know that is relevant to your website it's not like you are doing it for a techno site and you have a jewelry site so that doesn't resemble and then your policies your listings disclosure of data uh, a lot of things you know, need to be verified your phone numbers even a spelling mistake could be an issue or is some typo error could be an issue so we have to do a very very deep observation like if you are claiming over here the get 25 dollar is it true or not the reviews how are you managing the reviews that is also very important how are you giving the discounts is it possible we also you know try to go to email and see that if we get a $25 plus a 15 percent discount or not on the email if we do not then this is needs to be removed even Google is so much deeply concerned regarding even the smallest of these issues so this was uh, the thing over here as well and uh, apart from this now let's move back to the changes you know we also suggest, suggested the other pages on privacy policy return policy shipping policy do not sell my personal information refund uh, policy terms and condition contact us uh, audit tracking business information about us and then we also suggested them few of the pages like we don't sell your information product guarantee product replacement how you do not do it the testimonials as being su suggested in the mystery presentation case and then robots.txt file uh, product description we also find that some of the content was not as much as unique as it should be so you know we think that that would be an issue as well even though this will also help uh, in seo as well so we also did that and also you know the thing is that we also look around for google search console errors okay now with the google search console error there are sometimes some issues on the google search console that needs to be solved as well as part of your gmc process also that is not relevant but you know uh, we overview everything you know trust me every factor because we do not want uh, google to give even a single of the factor or a single of a losing factor so I think that uh, in this case there are few things which needs to be understand by the client okay number one is patience is very important by the client also adopt being adoptive to changes like you may have to do a lot of changes and you know sometimes it takes multiple times multiple reports multiple audits multiple times audits and it take a, it makes the procedure a lot bigger why because uh, it can take a lot of time and then the communication with the google team how communication you are doing with the google team explain them because we are a google partner company we have a dedicated support channel that helps a lot but still you know we have to be very very careful and uh, we have to explain them in uh, in a transparency on what we did what we are looking for what the competitors are doing observing competitors is also a very strong channel that we are observing our competitors that you know that also plays a crucial role in a restoration of your google ads account so these are the few of things now let's move back to another page now you know after careful discuss uh, you know communication you know with the google team and everything you can see that one of our staff member got this thank you for contacting gtech customer experience regarding the merchant center account i will be glad to you understand your concern about merchant center account and i really apologize for the inconvenience you are facing congratulations post checking your merchant center i'm happy to let you know that after further review your account has been approved to participate in shopping ads so now they are also suggesting to optimize your product feed best practices for merchant center advertising your landing page need to be clear uh, you allow everyone to check out you don't have any issues like a uh, sign up is necessary or something uh, causing an issue some browser issues sometimes you know even the browser can also be an issue as well and we appreciate your extended patience and cooperation if you have further questions feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to know so also provide your most accurate product data use high quality images you know that even the copied image as well can cause an issue as well broker links on your website can cause an issue i mean 170 steps is are huge you know trust me huge so we carefully reviewed everything and then you know here comes the main part and that is that you can see now that the account has approved products and minus is like it's now in minus you know not approved is zero previously all were in disapproval state and now they are in the approved state you can just check the account as well 
and if I move on to the notification, you can see that there is no notification further regarding uh, suspension. And you know that uh, lastly, uh, before the restoration, we were constantly checking this account and it's all were in under review section, you know, the products were in under review and we all did without even requesting the request review button on the Google because we were have, we have a dedicated channel with the Google and all we would all was done without requesting the request review because I believe that once we request the request review section, it actually uh, enhances uh, because in case if you get a cool down, you may have to wait further. Also, the thing is that Google cache needs to be updated. That is also a very strong factor. So, all credits to my team regarding a success, another successful case today regarding Google Merge Center uh, restoration for misrepresentation. We can help in other issues as well, policy violation, website needs improvement. I mean, there are so many issues and we can help you. Uh, sometimes it's a health issue, pharmaceutical issues, products, you know. So, we uh, help with a lot of stuff. So, all, uh, so in case if you need Google Merge Center restoration, Google Ads, the restoration, uh, Google Ads management or any or even SU services, me and my team can help you. All you have to do is to click on the link in the description to get started with us. And in case if you like this video, make sure to like and share this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I create a new video, you guys get a notification regarding this. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.